Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually install GPT-4 all onto your local desktop. And this is going to be very interesting as well as showing you guys some of the capabilities of what it actually does. So before we get into that, please go subscribe, like, and comment, whatever you guys want to see. I have a lot of content. So if you guys haven't seen a lot of these videos, I definitely recommend you check it out because it's very beneficial and very helpful. So first things first, what is GPT for all? For the people who don't know, it's basically it's based off of a project on Llama. And while it may not be commercially usable yet, it is still fun to play at the moment. And it's something that you can get a good use of based off of chat GPT, but on your own local desktop. And basically GPT for all learned from a massive collection of helper interactions like word puzzles, stories, conver conversations, and code. They shared the process of gathering data, data as well as the training code and the final model details to encourage open research and to make it easy to repeat plus a simpler version of the model so almost anyone can run it on their computer cpu and that's the main thing guys the main focus is running it on your own cpu without having a beast or like a graphics card in general basically now what i'm going to be doing first is showing you guys how to install it in this video so first things first you want to get onto this github and secondly you want to download git if you don't have it for windows definitely get it for whatever processor you have i got it for windows so once you have that ready make sure you install it and then once you install it onto your desktop i want you guys to create a folder called ai in general now once you have created this all once you have downloaded everything and created this folder you just want to click delete all of this write powershell and what I'm going to be showing you now is there's this YouTuber called, I just want to give thanks as well as tribute to him because he formulated the code into one sentence. So it eases off the whole installation process. So what you want to do is copy this code. And basically what it will do is that once you paste enter, it will install the whole process as well as the whole script of what the actual local chat for all is. And basically, once you've done this, you just click enter. And what it will do is it'll start directly installing using the prompts that you gave it, which is the line that he created. And what it'll do is it will basically run using Git as well as install everything. Now, this is one of the ways to do it. And basically, you just have to let it wait. So personally, I'm actually installing it right now. And it's taking a little bit longer, but it's way more faster than installing it actually basically what when you if you were to do it manually because if you were to do it manually you got to install the file which takes a long long time which you can see over here it takes approximately one hour whereas if you are to do it through the script code scripted code you can probably do it within 25 minutes depending on your internet or upload speed or download speed so with that thought guys once i finish this i'll be back to you and i'll show you the next steps so basically guys, once that the thing starts installing, you will get an estimate time that will tell you how much time is left to actually finish installing the actual program to the GPT-4 all file. So it depends on the internet speed, obviously, but this is definitely faster and a lot of thanks to Troubleshoot for actually making this as well as formulating the script as it's very helpful and basically once you're completed you're you'll be given another prompt which is going to start preparing and installing vc and basically this is something another program that if you don't actually have it it will start processing as well as installing it so it will open up another administration powershell application file and once it's finishing installing that i'll get right back to you guys looks like the vcs are installed so you can close it and once that is done oh guys it finished installing the vcs and obviously once that is complete what troubleshoot has done is that he has asked that if you want to create a desktop short obviously you can click yes or no and you can paste it anywhere you want and once that is complete you will get another command prompt window that pops up basically showing that you have installed the actual file and basically now it is fully installed and you just got a little wait a little bit once it works and i'll get back to you so basically we have finished installing it and it started low obviously it's a little bit slower but you can do whatever you can do with chat gpt obviously 
And the great thing is it runs off of your own CPU. Obviously, if you don't have a great CPU like mine, it's gonna require, it's gonna, mine, it's gonna be a little bit slower, but you can still get a good sense of how it works locally on your computer, guys. And I can basically ask it anything. You can ask like things like, what is, oh, it's still formulating the other answers, but you can basically get a gist of how it works, guys. It's a little bit slower uh, than what you would use ChatGPT for. Obviously, it depends on your CPU, but for me, in my case, I think it's easier for me to use the actual online source, but this is for cases where you want to use it locally. And obviously, there's a lot more that you can do with this, so definitely check it out in terms of installing it with manually you should check out some other videos i can definitely make a video on that but that's basically a gist of gpt for all guys and installing it locally please go subscribe to my channel guys also check out tribute shoot for actually making such an amazing tutorial as well as a script code and that's basically just gist of today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys next time peace out